Welcome everyone to another wonderful episode here, Jaws Podiatry. I've never done this before, I promise. Um, we have a very young uh, patient who has presented our office for the first time today with an ingrown toenail to the left great toe. Um, one month ago, patient goes to get his pedicure. Uh, the, I guess the nail technician, the, they were doing their thing, which is to dig, 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 dig. Um, that went, we'll say, okay, um, patient left. And during the course of the next two weeks, which was two weeks ago, he noticed that, it, you know, there was some discomfort, went back to the same place and they did what? They dig, 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 you know, and they didn't find a whole lot. You know, they probably assumed, presumed that there was a little piece of nail spicule, you know, left behind. And, you know, this is, you know, this is nothing new. Um, I always, we, you know, I was just talking to, to the patient that, you know, very important to choose, you know, do your homework, do your due diligence when it comes to these places. Um, so, unfortunately, um, let's take a look here, Patty. So, we have a paranychia, you know. We have all this dry, crusty drainage. We have the redness. So this is, you know, this is a this is a quickie. You know, we're just gonna remove the the piece of the offending nail plate. You know, get this young gentleman back to daily life activities, get him back to exercise, and so on and so forth. Let's, let's take a look here. So again, we'll just remove the detach here a little bit of the proximal nail fold. Go like that. Take our English anvil. Okay, uh, not a lot, just a little slither there, all the way back. Schmidt, take our little hemostat. All the way back. And this is what they were seeking. And it's a baby boy. Mom, congratulations, it's a baby boy. Okay, so this is what they were looking at, right? They, what they were looking for. I'll show you guys. So, look at this. You see this? Let me put it here for, for background, right? You see this? That's what they couldn't get. They couldn't get that little piece. I'm going to turn it around for the patient so you can actually see it here. That. So they were, they were able to get this part, right? But they couldn't get that little piece, that little sharp tooth, right? And that's the problem. No matter how hard they tried, they, 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 were not, they weren't able to get it. Just like that, problem solved. So, you know, just to show everyone, not only that, I think the patient is, um, and again, what I'm doing now is just making sure that there are no remaining nail spicules, none found, okay? All of this puffiness is gonna go away see that but I think that looking at the nail plate you know th this this is nothing acute this is something chronic that I think that's been there for you know for a very long time that proximal portion has been just there and this is sort of like the tipping point so and again the good news this is kind of gonna go you know this is gonna contract like that It'll look like that for a little bit, and then we'll see the new nail plate grow out. And at that point, we can talk more about, you know, prevention techniques. Thumbs up. We got the thumbs up, ladies and gentlemen. We got the thumbs up. Okay. So, and again, we can use a curette as well. Sometimes uh, the curette, just, uh, you know, just to check. Again, very, very important. And I can feel, you see, this is the pocket. 
where that little shark tooth was hanging out. And I suspect that on a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being the worst, you were hovering at a 9 or a 10? Yes. And a body cream. Boom. For all the viewers, one time use. mentor that once told me this was just in general he said sloppy dressing sloppy surgeon and I'll never forget it so anytime we do you know, any procedures any dressing it has to be essentially perfect Art. thank you as always you're very welcome as always your nightmare, right? As always, www.jawspodiatry.com, Instagram, Dr. Toe Jam, Jaws Podiatry, Facebook, and last but not least, our YouTube channel, Jaws Healthcare. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank the patient for allowing us to film this procedure. Very important. Do your homework before you go to any of these, uh, these salons. Have a wonderful day, everyone.